brought to you by GTA. We start with you. And this is the day where teachers and staff and administrators are welcoming parents and, and our kids uh, back to the schools. Uh, a lot of high fives at the front door, the front hallways. A day when Guam Department of Education Superintendent John Fernandez would typically make his way onto school campuses, offering a warm, welcoming smile as students stepped onto school grounds for the start of a fresh new school year. But this year is different, as all public schools are resorting to distance learning, with coursework done at home, either online or with hard copy. We made a big shift last week when all the when PCOR one. Uh, was declared and we had to also move face-to-face -face students to one of the home learning options. So, you know, we never expected to jump right in on day one and here's your assignment, here's your homework, make sure you're ready by tomorrow. Fernandez says they are using this week to ensure students and parents are adjusting comfortably. The department is utilizing PowerSchool and swift K-12 communications to push information out and keep parents updated. This is it's a, it's such a new time, so I also think there's a sentiment of, you know, as teachers, this is all new to us as well. You know, some of us are great with technology. Some of us will take a couple of weeks, you know, uh, to really get, get going in terms of our, our comfort level. But uh, because we're all doing this together, I think, you know, we're, all, we're just asking the community, uh, our, our, our parents and guardians who are, are really our partners at home to really let's just work hand in hand uh, to make the best of, of what is going to really be a uh, a different school year. In making the best of the situation, Fernandez encourages the community to join him in taking the challenge as a learning experience. Let's use the online time to do, uh, you know, students present the work yourself. Uh, show us how you understand it. Um, you know, answer questions from your peers. Really turn it into what they call the flipped classroom, where it's not about facts, it's about discussion, uh, you know, uh, critical thinking and problem solving. So it, it's really going to be a shift this, this year that will last beyond COVID-19. The face-to-face -face learning option has been delayed by two weeks, although Fernanda says in the event it is continued for longer, a contingency plan has been created amongst the administrators. Additionally, during this period, GDOE has opened a hotline. The number to call is 300-1536 or email info at gdoe.net. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Adriana Cotero wishing students a happy, safe first day of school from home. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.